Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to determine the range of possible lengths of our third side. Alright. The length of any side of a triangle must lie between the sum and positive difference of the lengths of the two sides. So to determine the range of possible lengths of the third side, we must get the positive difference get by getting the absolute value of the difference of our first and second side and getting the sum of our first and second side. And we can place it in a form of an interval from the difference to the sum of the two sides. That will be the range of possible lengths of the third side. Alright, now let's have some example in determining the range of possible lengths of the third side. Alright, okay, so for example, we're given 6 and 10 as the dimension of our first and second side. So let's identify the possible lengths of our third side. Okay, so first we have to get the positive difference by getting the absolute value of the difference of our first and second side. So 6 minus 10 and get the absolute value. So that will be equal to 4. And then let's get the sum. So we get 6 plus 10 that will be equal to 16. And so the range for the possible measurement of our third side will be from 4 to 16. So all the values or all the numbers between 4 and 16 will be possible measurement of our third side. All right. Okay, let's have another example. So for example, we're given our dimensions for our first side and second side. So we have 32 and 29. And let's identify the possible measurement of our third side. So first, we have to get their difference, the positive difference. So let's get the absolute value of 32 minus 29. So that will be equal to 3. Okay. Next, let's get the sum of our first side and second side. So 32 plus 29, so that is 61. So after getting the difference in the sum, we can now determine the range of the possible length of our third side. So it will be from 3 to 61. All right. So all the numbers between 3 and 61 can be a possible measurement for our third side. All right. Okay, let's have another example. So for example, we're given the dimension of our first and second side, which is 17 and 51. And let's identify the possible length of our third side. So to determine our possible measurements for our third side, let's get the positive difference and the sum of our first and second side. Okay, so let's start first with the difference. So get the absolute value of 17 minus 51 and that is equal to 34. Okay, now let's proceed to the sum. Okay, so 17 plus 51, we have 68. So our possible range for our third side will be between 34 and 68. Okay, let's have our last example for today. So for example, we're given the dimension of our first and second side, which is 14 and 14. Now, we are looking for the range of the possible length of our third side. So first step is for us to get the positive difference by getting the absolute value of the difference between our first side and second side. So 14 minus 14, that is equal to 0. And the absolute value of 0 is 0. Then after getting their difference, we have to get the sum. So we add 14 plus 14, that is equal to 28. We can just substitute this to our formula and we can now identify the possible measurement of our third side. And that will be between 0 and 28. Alright. Now that you already know how to determine the possible range of your third side of a triangle, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace. Peace.